Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I'm Sunil Mirwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as Cost Reconciliation Statement. We are going to do question number 13 today. In the books of in the books of Tirupati traders, Messrs. Tirupati traders. Okay. The given you that the following is the profit and loss account as per financial records of Messrs. Tirupati traders for the year ending 31st March 2008. Right. Uh, they give you all the entries here. The closing stock in cost accounts are to be valued at cost of production. However, the opening stock in cost accounts are to be the same as financial records. You are required to prepare a cost statement showing total cost, excluding per unit and profit, and reconcile. I could have directly done the sum, but here they specifically asked me to make a cost sheet. So first of all, we need to make a cost sheet. They also told you that make the cost sheet without the CPU. So we will directly have total cost. Right? What I'll do is first I'll make the format of cost sheet that will make things simpler. Direct material, direct wages, direct expenses, high cost, and factory overheads, less sale of scrap, and opening stock. Stock of WIP less closing stock of WIP. I'll we'll give you work cost. So no fixed failure will be given. No, we don't have this, right? Here you will have then office overheads. Cost of production. And Opening stock of finished goods plus closing stock of finished goods. Cost of finished goods. Add sales overhead will give you total cost. Add Profit sales. Right? Let's also make a working note for factory overheads, particulars, factory overheads, office overheads, sales overheads. Right? Let's start. Now, let's see this. They said that they said that closing stock is to be valued at cost of production, whereas opening stock is to be as same as per the financial records. Okay. Now, uh, let's see this. Raw material, direct material consumed is five lakh ninety thousand four hundred. Right. Plus, there's a carriage invert. So my direct material is five lakh nineteen thousand four hundred plus the carriage invert which is 5100 so in that case this is going to be 524500 right then you have direct wages which is given to you as 72872 72872 direct expenses not given to you right that should give you your prime cost which will be Five lakh ninety-seven thousand three hundred and seventy-two. Right? Now let's just classify the remaining entries. Right? You have salesman's commission. Salesman's commission. Salesman's commission will go in sales. Thirty-eight thousand five hundred and twenty. Right? Next. 
you have office salaries. Office salary is given to you as 25,368. Right? Next, you have motor car expenses. Motor car expenses. Motor car expenses or office expenses amount is 18,384. 18,384. Then you have advertisement. Advertisement is a sales expense 61,920. Then you have director's remuneration. Director's remuneration. Director's remuneration office is 12,000. Factory is 12,000 and sales is 14,400. Next, you have indirect wages. Indirect wages. Indirect wages are given to you as 20,268. Right? Next, you have depreciation. Depreciation is given to you on plant 11,472. Right? Then you have workmen compensation reserves. Reserves are never to be recorded. Okay? Next, you have office rent. Rent. Office rent is given to you as 6,900. Next, after sales service expense. After sales service. After sales service expenses are given to you as 4,476. Then you have interest. Interest is a finance expense, it is not to be recorded. Then you have showroom rent. Showroom rent is given to you as 9,000. Showroom rent is given to you as 9,000. Then you have carriage outward. Carriage outward is a sales expense. Carriage outward is given to you as 6,240. Right? Then you have depreciation on delivery van. Depreciation on delivery van is 5040. It's a sales expense. Then you have factory fuel. Factory fuel is 4,248, which is going to be factory expense. Then you have packing and forwarding. Packing and forwarding is a sales expense, which is 3,270. Then you have miscellaneous factory expenses. Miscellaneous factory expenses. Miscellaneous factory expenses are 3270. Right? Next, preliminary expenses, finance expense not to be recorded, audit fees, finance expenses, no, audit fees is recorded, that's not a finance, that's an office expense, audit fees. Audit fees is given to you as 2520. Then you have general office expenses. General expenses. General office expenses are given to you as 1500. Next, rent. Factory rent. Factory rent is given to you as 18720. Right? Then loss on sale of investments not to be recorded in your cost sheet. Insurance. Insurance of office is 300. Of sales is 720. And of factory is 1800. Right? Similarly, printing and stationery. Printing and stationery, factory is, no, printing and stationery is 720. 
then you have depreciation of factory furniture. Depreciation in depreciation of factory furniture is 600. Uh, office furniture is 900 and showroom is 420. Right? Telephone charges. Telephone charges, office is 129 and sales is 627. Right? Then uh, legal fees. Legal fees office is 504. Right? Someone start doing the addition in the meantime. I'll just check whether I've put in all the figures. In factory, 12,000, 20,000, 11,000, 4,000, 3,000, 18,000, 1,800, and 600. 25, 18, 12, 6, Two five three hundred three hundred seven twenty nine hundred one twenty nine five hundred four. Three eight six zero fourteen five four four nine thousand six two. Yeah. So please do the addition and tell me how much is this? Uh, seventy two three seventy eight. Which one? The first one. Seventy two three seventy eight. Right? Second one is uh, 69 to 25. Right? And the final one? So, that is 18 points. Yeah, one was factory depreciation and then they again had depreciation given to you. One lakh forty four six thirty three. Someone check that please. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Let's complete the cost sheet in that case. We've just found out that factory overheads, right? Nice. Factory overheads we found out as 72,378. There's no sale of scrap. There's no opening stock of finished work in progress, closing stock of work in progress. In that case, when I add this, I should get my work cost as 6,69,750. So Someone please check that out. Office overheads we found out as 69,225. My cost of production is going to be cost of production is going to be 738 975. Now we have a problem guys. We have opening stock of finished goods which is 59,760. 59,760. Right? Now the total number of units that are manufactured and sold. Okay, they directly give you the closing stock of finished goods also. 52,776. 52,776. But they said that you have to calculate in the cost sheet. Closing stock is to be valued at cost of production. So I need to calculate this at my cost of production. If I'm selling 90,000 units, guys, let's see the working note for this. Working note 2. Opening stock plus produced minus closing stock will give you sales. Guys, let's check the units out, people. Right? Now, opening stock of finished goods is 6,000 units. Guys, please look at your PL account. Right? Closing stock of finished goods is 4,500 units. 
sold is 90,000 units. Someone please tell me that means how many units are produced. Someone please help me get this figure x. It will be 90,000 plus 4,500 minus 6,000. That means 90,000 minus 1,500 that is 88,500. 1,500, 88,500. Right? Units cost for producing 88,500 guys from my cost sheet I know my cost of production is 70 sorry 7,38,000 7 <coughs> right so for producing 4,500 units how much should be the cost so please help me get this Thirty-seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five. Right. So my closing stock of finished goods is thirty-seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five. So now you add subtract this, and you add subtract this. You should get your cost of finished goods, which should be seven lakh sixty-one thousand one hundred and sixty. Right. Selling overheads you have just calculated as 1,44,633 1,44,633 Right? So you will get your total cost as 9,5,793 Right? Sales. Sales is given to you as 11,70,000 so I can now find out the profit. How do I find out the profit? Total cost minus sales minus total cost will give you profit, which should give you two lakhs sixty-four thousand two hundred and ten. Please, someone go on checking the figures that I'm giving you, right? So that makes my cost sheet complete. Once my cost sheet is done, I still need to reconcile this, right? Let's see the reconciliation. Cost. Reconciliation statement. Particulars. Rupees. Rupees. Costing profit. Add. Less. Financial profit. Right? Costing profit guys, we just found out is 2,64,207. Financial profit is given to you as 2,59,000. 2, right? Now let's see where are the entries where we have a difference, right? Now there were certain entries that we didn't record, right? Let's uh, first see which were those entries that I didn't record at all. One was workman compensation reserve. The workman compensation reserve is there only in PNL. It is not there in the cost sheet. That means it is less in cost sheet. So it will go here. Workman compensation reserve. Workman compensation reserve was 13,275. Right? Besides that, uh, the other entry that I did not record was preliminary expenses. Again, preliminary expenses is there only in PNL. It is not there in cost sheet. It is less in cost sheet. Therefore, it will go here in this column. Preliminary expenses. Preliminary expenses. 4,200 right uh, then is there anything else I did not record loss ha. loss on sale of investment loss on sale of investment again it is there only in PNL it is not there in cost sheet so it is less in cost sheet therefore to come here loss on sale of investment loss on sale of investment 4017 Right, insurance, printing, depreciation, telephone charges, legal fees. Okay. Now let's see the credit side. On the credit side, I did not record bank interest. Right? 
Now, bank interest is there only in PNL. It is not there in cost sheet. It is less in cost sheet, but it is a credit side entry. So I will write this in more column. This is bank interest. Bank interest is 410. Similarly, dividend I did not record. Right? Dividend is there in PNL account on the credit side. It is not there in cost sheet. It is less in cost sheet, but it is a credit side entry. So I will record it in add column. So dividend. 6,900, right? Now these were the entries from PNL which I had exclusively not recorded. Now besides that, let us see uh, what else has changed. Is there any figure that has changed? Is there any other figure that has changed? Let's see the closing stock. Closing stock, guys, can you please see this? Closing stock of finished goods is 37,000. Closing stock of finished goods is 37,575 in the cost sheet. 37,575 in the cost sheet. Whereas in the PNL account, uh, closing stock is 52,000. Right? It is more. Right? It is more in uh, PNL and it is less in the cost sheet. It's less in the cost sheet, but it's a credit side entry, therefore it should come in more. So closing stock of finished goods. Someone please find out the difference and tell me how much is it? 52,776 minus 37,575. 15,201. 15,201. Is there another entry that I have not recorded? Yes. There is this one entry that I haven't recorded from PNL. That was the interest entry, guys. Can you see in PNL you had interest? In PNL account you had interest. It is there only in PNL. It is not there in the cost sheet. It is not there in the cost sheet means it is less in cost sheet. Interest is a finance expense. Therefore, I have not recorded this interest. How much is interest amount? Six thousand. This one. Someone please help me add this. This is one. One. Thirteen. Eighteen. Come on, check this please. Do so. So what have you done? So that you can't be edited. Okay. So let me write back and tell me how much it is. 22,511. 22,511. Right? Okay. So please add that and tell me how much is that? 286718 Yes sir. Yes sir. So please add those figures. 27 492 Someone check that please. Yes sir. Right? Now subtract this. If your sum is right, your sum should tally. You should get your financial profit. 286718 minus 27492. Right? That is yes. that finishes that sum. We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.